And thank you. And two days after he released the video, GRPD Chief Eric Winstrom is speaking to Fox 17 again. His conversation with our Doug Reardon included his thoughts on that video, the still unnamed officer's identity, and on building trust within the black community. Doug is in studio now with that story. Doug? Good evening to you, Jamie and Josh. We still don't know the name of that officer seen in the videos, but people have found and posted the names and addresses of a few different DRPD officers they believe to be the one who fired that fatal shot. Winstrom said he's worried for his staff, but he still won't name that officer, even though in those video clips, his face isn't blurred. I am concerned about the safety of officers. 11 days after the shooting of 26-year-old Patrick Leoya, and the public still doesn't know the name of the officer who is seen on video, face unblurred, firing the fatal shot. Stop! Okay. Stop resisting! As I said, we're not naming this officer. I know there's been several names floated out there. There's been different addresses that we've heard, uh, and uh, that is real. Uh, safety issue. We're committed to transparency and when an individual is on a public street, there is no expectation of privacy. Uh, the officer has an expectation of privacy for his name, but if it was uh, you and I walking down the street and there's a video of us, uh, can expect that video to be made public. So it's simply, you know, following the law as the law is written. Chief Eric Winstrom has been troubled by recent cases of the public posting the names and addresses of a few officers suspected of being the one who killed Leoya. He said it took him back to his days as a commander with the Chicago Police Force during nationwide unrest in the spring of 2020 after the death of George Floyd. A lot of officers started covering, covering their names and it wasn't because they, they wanted to be anonymous as far as they were they had intent to do you know excessive force or anything like that. They just didn't want to be Doxed. Winstrom said even if no charges are filed criminally, that officer's name could still become public if the Leoya family or anyone else files a civil suit. As for why that officer stopped Leoya in the first place the morning of April 4th, police reports point to a mismatched license plate. GRPD uses automated license plate readers, but the video starts with the officer rounding a corner and making that traffic stop right away. In that video, we didn't get to see that part of this. We didn't right. get to see the license plate being read. We just saw this officer pull up behind uh, Patrick's car. Mm -hmm. uh, do we know what happened there? Good question, and uh, I don't know. I, my guess is the Michigan State Police do know, um, and that will be something that our administrative investigation will. We, we want to know everything that happened before. We want to know, you know, during and we want to know after, but because it's not my investigation at this time, I don't have all this information. Winstrom's focus is now on building trust with his community, especially black residents. How do you expect now and for the black community to trust this department after what they've just seen? It's got to take a lot of a lot of uh, work on, the, on behalf of the police department, and it's going to take a lot of communication. I wanted to be as transparent as possible to let them know that even though there's no conclusion at this time, the process is moving forward. And guys, in those videos, you can see Luoya and the officer struggling over a taser. And you can also hear that taser fire off twice. Winstrom told me they only hold two charges. So we asked, why was there still a threat after the taser ran out of charges? And Winstrom told us they also have a close-up stun gun feature that he said could still have posed a threat to that officer. And we have a very busy weekend of events downtown. We have a Griffins game tonight. We have a Kid Rock concert tomorrow and also a planned protest that Matt mentioned. And Winstrom says they may be going through some long hours, his officers, but they will have all those events adequately covered. In the studio tonight, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News.